All right, guys, again, today we are going to be using the Too Faced Christmas Dreams Dream Queen Limited Edition Makeup Collection. So inside this, it's got everything on the back. I haven't even opened this yet. Um, you get a palette that has 24 shadows. You get a bronzer, two blushes, a highlighter. You get a mascara, a makeup pouch. You get a setting spray and a lip gloss. So let's dig into this and take a look at everything. So right on top, we have the setting spray, which I have upside down, so you get a little trial size of that. We have the mascara, which I've used before. And then we have the lip gloss. Ooh, that's got glitter in it. And we've got the makeup pouch, which is a lot bigger than it would it look like on the box. <laughs> I had to go all the way back here to show you. And then we have the palette itself. Let's open this up. So there's no mirror inside. That again here is your highlighter, your two blushes, and then your bronzer, and then these are the 24 shades that you get to wear. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the contour, which I'm going to use this. This is too dark of a bronzer shade for me. That's dark. So I'm going to use this as a little bit of a contour. Just go into the hollows of my cheek. Okay, I was going to skip bronzer, but I guess I'm going to go ahead and just use some of my... I'll go ahead and use some of my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I will go just a little bit over the top of that. All right, let's go ahead and add some blush now. So there's two shades in here. Um, we have White Berry and Sweet on Santa. So White Berry and Sweet on Santa. And White Berry happens to have some little flecks of sparkle in there, and that's not quite... What I'm looking for today, so we're going to go in on uh, Sweet on Santa. And then we have the highlighter, which is called Snow Extra. I'm going to swatch that for you real quick. So that's the highlighter. I'm going to go in kind of light with this. Normally care for gold. It's all right. It is showing my texture though, so that's one thing I don't care for. So now let's go ahead and do these eyes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take Snowball Effect right here and I'm gonna go all over my lids with that. There's another shade in here um, called Polar Bear Hug. That's more of a satin finish, and I didn't want to go with the satin all over my lids. Now, that was a little powdery though. Uh, let's go ahead and take Secret Santa up here in the corner, that one right there, and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. She says with a question mark. Now I'm going to go ahead and use Unwrapped instead. So this second one, went the wrong way, second one down right there is Unwrapped. Now let's go ahead and take Secret Santa after all, and I'm going to take that into my crease. Kind of a plummy brown color. And I think I'm going to go into Let's Kringle, which is this one right there, and I'm going to go even a little bit deeper into the crease, just a little bit. I am going to start with this shade right here. It's called Keep Your Hands to Your Elf. 
I get it. So I'm going to use that on the inner two thirds of my eye. Eyelid, I should say. And I may need to wet my brush for this one. Yeah, let's try wetting that. I'm going to go ahead and use my Max Fix Plus on that. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's take a smaller flat brush and we're going to go in with Wrap It Up. This is another shimmer. Let's see if I have to go in and wet that as well. It looks like it. Yepers, we are. Oh, that's really just not showing up at all. I'm going to load up my brush. Okay, I had to put a lot on my brush to do that. That's making a big mess. I'll show you here in just a second. Go ahead and take a look at that. And I wasn't even digging in that at all. I was just tapping my brush in there. So, these are a little bit on the delicate side. Okay, let's go ahead and work under our eyes. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and take Santa's Bake Shop, which is this one right here. And I'm going to use a smudge brush and just go underneath my lash line with that. like that color. And then last but not least, let's go in with Let's Roll, which is this deep, deep, deep burgundy shade. And I'm going to take just an angled brush, an angled brush off the right side of it. And I'm going to take that real close to my lash line. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color Twinkle up here in the corner and I'm going to use that as a inner corner highlight. All right, before we move on to mascara and our lips, let's go ahead and use the setting spray. Got a niceness to it. I just realized I'm getting probably black makeup all over everything. So luckily I haven't touched anything. All right, that's dried down and it feels really good on my face. So let's go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I have used this before and I really, really like it. So it's been a long time now, I'll tell you that much. They have this in a waterproof one as well, which I really like to use on my lower lash line. Or anytime I know I'm going to cry, like a wedding or something like that. That's a definite one for me to wear. I will tell you, if you haven't used this before, their wand is a um, pretty good size there. It's got the hourglass shape to it. 
So when you have these little sizes, it's a little hard to get into your lash line sometimes. We have some mascara on, and now let's move on to our lips. Now, because they included a lip gloss, this is indeed a gloss. I'll go ahead and swatch it first so you can see what it looks like just by itself. So this is almost like a duochrome gloss. It's very interesting. I hope it's showing up on there. Um, it's got like gold and pink um, reflections on it. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips and put on a lipstick and then I'll come back and do the gloss. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and put on some liner and some liquid lipstick, which is one I picked up off of AliExpress. So I'll leave a link down below along with everything else that I've used on my face today. So this is again um, their lip gloss. It is called, and I'm sure this is in French, Brilliant à la vis. La vis, la vis. I will spell it out down here because obviously I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. So let's go in on top of what I've got and see what this does. Oh, holy cow. hair out of my face before I get it stuck in my lip gloss. <laughs> Honestly, not something that I would probably wear on a normal basis. Like I'm not going to go grocery shopping wearing this, but I hope you guys can kind of see how it picks up the different shades. It does show close up. So let me zoom you in a little bit and we'll see if that way it shows up a little better. Definitely has like pink and gold little reflex in it. So very pretty. Very different, that's for sure. Kind of reminds me of the glitter flips, um, what they look like after you press your lips together. So this is kind of pretty. All right, let me zoom you back out again and we'll go over everything. All right, I think this is a neat little kit. Um, as far as the mascara, again, I've used this so many times before. Um, I It used to be one of my must-haves. It was my go-to for all the time, and then I just moved on to other mascaras, but I really like this. It will smudge on my lower lash line. That's why I prefer the waterproof one. Um, the lip gloss, kind of fun. Kind of fun. And as for the um, makeup setting spray, I've actually never had this as a setting spray, so it's nice to actually try it. This is a great travel size one, too. And it looks like it's something I could actually refill, so that will be another plus for it, too. As for the palette, I'm going to go ahead and swatch all the colors for you as well, but. Um, I don't really think I would be using the bronzer. Let me flip it up here where you can see it all. That blush I probably won't use. The highlighter being a gold shade, I probably won't use that either. Um, and although there's some really pretty colors in here, there's just some I wouldn't use, like this one there. That's got a lot, a lot of glare in it. So these holiday ones are kind of fun. I tend to buy almost all of them during the holidays and then I don't really use them. I end up giving them away to um, friends and family members. But they're fun to get and try out different things. So this is one you could definitely get quite a few different types of looks out of. So I'll have to play around with it some more. Let me know if you got this or if you're getting any of the other holiday palettes that are coming out. And also which ones you'd like to see me try out as well. Leave those comments down below. Uh, again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please just take a moment, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell notification, and then give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. So until next time, I love you all, and bye-bye. All right, here's the swatches that I promised, and I kind of did a bad job here. So starting at the top, um, I'm going down each row. So we have Twinkle. This is Polar Bear Hug. Let's Kringle. Snowball Effect, Son of a Nutcracker, uh, Keep Your Hands to Your Elf, which is right in there, 
and let's roll. And then the black here is special delivery. Then we go to this side of my arm. So we're trying to get everything in all one time. So again, we're not showing very well, but um, we have wrap it up, unwrapped, all the jingles ladies, pink flurries, kiss me or kiss miss, holy grail, Christmas cheer. And then it's hard to see this one, but it's a very silvery shimmer. It's called Silver Bells. Then we move to this arm and we've got Secret Santa. Let me do this. Here we go. So Secret Santa, Christmas cookies, here for the hose, cozy up, S Elfies, so S apostrophe Elfies, Santa's Bake Shop. This purple one here is Christmas FOMO and Holly Days is this emerald green one there. And then we've got the highlighter, which is called Snow Extra. This is the blush I used today, which is Sweet on Santa. And then White Berry is the other blush with a little bit of a glitter in it. And then we have the bronzer called Christmas Roasty. So those are all the shades.